All right, new video time, and in this one, we're pulling apart this little 12 bay bridgey here. Um, it has low compression, I believe, on the rear iron, so we're gonna take it apart and see what's what. Hang around to the end of the video. I have an idea to possibly put some merch out, so I want you guys' feedback on it, and yeah, so we'll do that at the end of the video. Cheers. So nice little toy bridgey. Um, there is water coming out of the rear housing. So water seal. But apparently this engine was built. When is it dated? The second 06. So it was built 19 years ago. And as far as the owner is aware, it hasn't been pulled apart since. So 19 years. It's a long time. Uh, MRT. If anyone knows what that's all about, can you let me know? But how cool is that? Anyway, so... Turning the engine over, it doesn't sound too bad, but he has issues with it starting. Um, needs a lot of fuel to start, and as I said, there was water coming out of this one here. It is pretty decent sized bridge. It's not too bad. Um, also, what we have to do is, on the manifold, we have to match, match port this port to that one there which isn't a major so we're going to go through the whole engine i believe we are going to be painting the housings orange polishing don't know but orange to match the car and water pump and all the rest so i do have everything here and yeah let's get stuck into this thing hopefully it's not bad anyway So, so far so good um, front pulley is loose and flywheel and counterweight are all off clutch is in good shape flywheel is in min shape so rear main could probably do with a change out um, with a soft seal kit you'll get all these um, little rubber washers all the way around the through bolts so that will be replaced but we might have a look at this and if this engine hasn't been open for 19 years then I'd say we're gonna be looking at bearings same, oh, you haven't seen it yet. I've done stack gear bearings and rotor bearings for this car, but that's in another video, but we'll probably have to do the same for this. Um, all right, I'm gonna keep on getting after it. So next thing I need to do is um, drain the oil out. I presume there's oil in here. Sounds like it. So drain the oil out, um, the messy part, and then we'll get the sump off and then we'll start Take the front cover off, take all these out, and then just open her up and um, see what it looks like. Yeah. So far, this has been um, an absolute walk in the park. Um, the sump is like brand new. I think it is new, but um, everything is just coming off nicely. Um, I fought originally with a 19 year old engine that everything will be so tight and just a pain in the ass. But so far, everything has been really, really good. That gasket just broke but we'll probably pay to replace that anyway so just this little gasket right there so this engine is actually in really really good sh shape so far so hopefully we carry on this trend and um it goes from there so right now i'm just going to strip this whole front stack we're going to flip it over undo the through bolts and then we're going to crack it open and then we're going to see what we can see but hopefully hopefully she's all good and just needs a, a freshen up and we slap it back together and we can um send it on its way
but yeah, it's good. Right, we're at this point, um, all three bolts have been taken out, so time to crack it open. So, as I was saying, so far this, um, this whole engine pull down's been really, really good. So, we will soon find out to make room for these. We'll uh, soon find out how, um, what's going on. Okay, so now we're in business. Um, it did just budge. That's a first, I've never seen an oil control ring come out with it. But that's all good, so I'll just dig out all these loose seals so I don't lose them. We will be replacing them anyway, but I'm not a fan of losing them. It's a little bit of wear on that face, but besides that, This um, rear iron's pretty good at first glance. I'll have a closer look at them soon. We'll just carry on getting this apart. Okay, now as for the Yeah, no, these water seals are toast. Okay. Just don't want to lose these little corn seals. No, that's all right. She's got a big gouge by the exhaust port down here, but it looks like that's the only area, but the rest of it seems um, pretty good. All right, I'm going to clean this up and then we'll pull the next one. Okay, so this one's all cleaned up. I'm gonna try and, um, man, this oil's got everywhere. I'll um, we'll get the center iron out. I think what's holding that? Is that dowel coming up? Ah, oh, the dowel's coming up. Go back down, dowel. The whole um, other dowel's coming up with it, so I can't actually rotate it. Well, that didn't work out so great, but oh, now the Dow wants to come out. All right, I'll finish pulling this apart and then we'll have a good look at it. Um, almost there, but so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. She's actually in um, good shape by that one rotor housing. So I'll get back at you soon. Okay, so what I'm looking at here is this is the front iron. We just have a little bit of step wear there. Besides that, everything else seems to be really good. This bridge port is actually really well done. It's quite nice. It's, it flows really, really nicely. Um, as I said, these ports have been done. I just need to match the manifold ones. So that's nice. Uh, stack gear bearing. 
it's all right. It's not nearly as bad as I thought. Um, same goes with center iron and at the back there, the rear iron. A um, little bit of step wear on the same face, but um, they're fine. Um, there's nothing major, majorly wrong with those. Uh, rotors, a little bit of carbon, nothing major. And besides that, bearings are all right. Still replace them, but they're all right. Um, I can't see any noticeable damage to them. Um, everything seems actually quite nice on them. So, yeah, no, they're good. Just need to clean up. So I'll do that next couple of days, but um, yeah, not bad at all. So, rotor housings. So this one, I did mark one of the rear. That's quite a gnarly gouge right up there around the exhaust port. Not 100% sure what's caused that, but yeah you can definitely catch a nail in that in that so i'm unsure about that it's a shame because the housing actually has um no chrome pill so these are actually really nice besides that uh there are a few marks up around by the trailing plug where that goes but besides that they're in really good shape except that so that's the rear rear housing um Front housing. Let's have a look. A few marks there. Uh, can't catch my nail, but you can feel them. Same same thing around the exhaust port. Um, yep, yeah, don't know what's up with that. Uh, how are we looking on the other side? Yeah. Same again up around um, the trailing plug. So I'll look into those, if we can still run them or not, or we can get that cleaned up or whatever. Uh, don't know if we lap the lap the um, end plates, but um, we'll see how far the owner wants to go with it. But um, besides that, she's in, she's in um, really, really good shape for a 19 year old 12A. Oh, e-shaft. So I haven't balanced this yet, but just visual inspection. So I say balance, putting the dial gauge there and testing its um, throw out. But under visual inspection, she's in pretty good shape too. So really, really nice engine. Um, okay, so I will um, sort this out over the next couple of days. I'll give those a clean up and then um, we um, look to see what we can do. Okay, so into the video and question I want to ask is, well, I'll tell the story first. Recently, my daughter, I um, got in touch with Smugs and they designed me some merch. So I actually love it. I think it's so cool. I actually got some done through Jade as well, which are also really cool. Um, but I want to know, is it worthwhile making them? I'm going to make them for me regardless because I, I like them. But if anyone else wanted, wanted some or would be interested in some and what colours, blah, 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 blah t-shirts hoodies blah blah you know all the story so i'll show you so this is the ones that jade made up for me now they're just straightforward basic simple the old logo that will be sitting down there on my video those are cool nice and simple i love it now the one i got from smugs it's real hard to see i do have a picture of it but he's done it with some out of it ink that shows up in the light but i'll show you the picture anyway but yeah how sick is that on a hoodie so if that's something that people will want let me know um as i said i'm gonna make me some anyway and if anyone else wants one hit me up um they won't be stupid expensive because they just won't be um yeah let me know what you think right down in the comments so next video i've already started working on this one but i'm gonna carry on tomorrow um i've done Stack gear bearings, rotor gear, uh, rotate assembly bearings, all done. So that's going to go sent off to be balanced. I'm going to drop it off tomorrow. And then I just need to try and figure out these brakes. And just before, I just noticed there is actually no brake lines to the rear drums. So fun. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll be chasing up this engine. I'll be chasing up the owner this weekend, see what he wants to do. But mint engine. I really, really do like it, except those rotor housings. But if anyone knows if those are usable, let me know. Also, that'd be great. Anyway, thank you for watching.